Hello, my beloved HSPs. It's so great to be with you today. I just wanted to give you a little short video to help you enjoy your day more and feel empowered. I wanted to talk today about how being a highly sensitive person can be reframed as having superpowers. I do that with my HSP clients all the time. Unfortunately, most of us have been misunderstood and told, diagnosed a lot with anxiety and depression or the, the big two that I find with a lot of HSPs. And we're sort of taught, especially by the medical model, that there's something wrong with us, that we have a mental illness. I don't believe that. Um, we know that high sensitivity is not a mental illness. It is um, the way that our nervous system is wired and we're born like this. So we can't change it, so we might as well make the most of it. And uh, I just feel like we need to flip the narrative about HSPs in our culture, and there's some really good uh, people doing things in that vein. For instance, you could watch my video interview with Jen Greneman or listen to it as a podcast. She wrote the book, Sensitive. Excellent, excellent book. And of course, there's Elaine Aaron's work, and she wrote the original book about uh, highly sensitive people and saved my life a long time ago. So I just wanted to say, well, I'll ask you, what would your life look like if you viewed your high sensitivity as giving you superpowers? What would it look like? How would things change? How would they change for the better? I'll speak for myself and a lot of my clients when I say that reframing um, my sensitivity as a superpower has completely transformed my relationship to how I view myself and how I act in the world. Um, I feel that right now, for me personally, my superpower is my voice. And I feel that the world is in deep trouble and that a lot of Highly insensitive people are running the show, and we need to step up as highly sensitive people and speak our voices and contribute to the com larger conversations that are going on right now. Because I think we have a lot to contribute, and what we have to contribute could possibly lead to world peace, helping the environment. I could go on and on, women's rights. Um, yeah, there's so many hot button topics at the moment that we need to speak out about. So I invite you as a little bit of homework to up the ante for yourself, even if it feels scary, and use your voice somehow in any way that feels somewhat comfortable but a little bit scary. That's a sign that you're doing something bold that will make you feel very proud of yourself. And when I asked you what would it be like if you were to do this and to see your high sensitivity as a superpower, I believe that what will happen is that you'll start to really practice uh, self-love and self-compassion and that you will um, really find, find your footing in the world. And, you know, I, I feel like this is a bit of a call out to all my HSP friends all over the world. We are so needed, our voices are needed, and you can do it. I believe in you.